Hello everybody. Today we're gonna pick up where we left off last time with our um, foam relief architectural drawings. And so last time we were in the process of transferring our drawings onto our relief foam. And the next step for us is going to be then to take off the paper and you can either take this home or you can recycle it. It's not needed anymore. And you'll notice that you can see the imprint that you're pressing left. And for some of you, it's gonna be very faint. And so what we need to do now is with any pencil you have, it could be a colored one, it could be a regular one, but you need to go back over those lines and just press them in and trace one more time because we wanna make sure that we're gonna have a really um, nice foam relief block that's going to give us the best print possible. So you're gonna complete that next step. All right, so I finished that. I've gone over everything now and I used red so you can see my lines really good. When you have finished pressing in and tracing again, what you're gonna do is you're going to take your um, houses and we need to cut them out as one solid piece. Now mine um, are all connected, so it's a little easier, but for those of you who maybe just have like an urban setting, so you have one house and you have a lot of grass, you do wanna make sure that basically we're cutting the sky out. And so I'm noticing in my piece, I didn't add a horizon line, so I could add one just really quick here. Um, or I actually, you know, I could just leave it. But what you're gonna do is you're going to cut on the outside and so for me that's going to be cutting along all of my rooftops and basically we're getting rid of our sky because you have your sky on your paper painted background that's going to be our sky so we want to have a nice good view of that and we're just going to have the buildings and the landscape in our printed foam so I'm going to cut this out carefully if you accidentally cut the spot you shouldn't have, like if I didn't turn and I went down this way and accidentally cut my buildings apart, we already know that foam can be taped back together on the back side, and most mistakes we can fix them. So just do your best not to rip anything. We'll be kind of careful around my little chimney here. And if any of you added suns in or clouds, like I saw on a few, you know, those are things that you might have to cut out separately, and we could try printing them separate. All right, so done with that. And now I'm ready to print. And so in order to print, you're gonna take your foam and your painting, which should be in your folder. And you're gonna head over to the printing table and at that station, we're gonna to wanna to do a practice print first. So we're using a brayer and we're using printmaking ink. And I wanna roll out the ink. It looks like I put a little too much on. So I'm going to kind of roll it a little good here. Okay. And our first print we're going to do is going to be a practice print on just a sheet of white paper. And so we want to roll over our houses. <laughs> My roller is squeaky. I want to just try to make sure I get every inch of it inked. So you can still see all my red lines, and those are hopefully going to print white, which you won't be able to see just yet. And now we're going to take our piece of paper, and you know, you, you want to try to work as clean as you can. You know, there's going to be some smudges, you're going to get some ink on your fingers. But I'm going to set that down. Oops. I didn't center it very good, so it went off my edge a little bit. And I'm gonna kind of press gently. And what you wanna do is you wanna flip it over and rub from the back side. So I'm gonna do that, making sure I rub my hands over every little bit of it. And then I'm pulling my print. And this practice one can go home with you today. So if all my lines look good, it looks like everything's been traced nicely. I'm gonna set that aside. And now I'm gonna print my reflection on the final paper. So I got some more ink on my roller. I'm going to make sure I have all my spots re-inked and really carefully pick 
this guy up. Set this down. And we are printing the reflection only. So what you're gonna do is you have to try to flip it upside down and line up the bottom of your buildings with that horizon line. Okay, and you can see mine goes off a little on the sides. That's okay though. All my buildings fit. I'm gonna gently press it on so everything's sticking and I'm gonna rub from the back and I'm actually gonna flip over this background paper because I really wanna keep my painting clean. So I rub, feeling everything, flat hands, trying to find all my buildings in there. And then when you think you've gone over every bit of it, you can pull it off. Ooh, it's looking good. Okay, that's gonna be my reflection. And then I, next class, when my this is dry, I'm gonna glue that on to be my sky, okay? The reason why we're not printing it is because if I printed it, my buildings end up being on the opposite end and, and they don't line up, okay? So we, in order to get that mirror image flip, we're going to glue our foam piece down, okay? And so we have the reflection in the water and we have our skyline. This is gonna go on the drying rack and this one you get to take home with you today. Nice work today.